Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, right now I'm on the. Oh, my dog decided to run away. So, um, another Doc Beast Daily. So, um, I'm seeing all these fitness trackers out there, and I'm usually not convinced about these fitness trackers. But I'll be totally honest. One, I'm not. First of all, before I even say this, I have no stake in this company. Um, I will not get any like residual for this company. I'm not part of this company. I make no money, but. Um, I plan on getting, a, I already ordered a fitness tracker with Move. What I like about Move, it actually, is supposed to monitor the quality of your movements. Um, it's a very new fitness tracker. So I'll tell you a little bit more about it as I get it. But you know what? The way I see it is whatever you can use to get you your results, go ahead and do it. You know, I know a lot of people aren't into these fitness trackers. And to be honest, for a long time, I wasn't into things like the Fitbit, which is also my wife has one and some of these others, because the way I measure my fitness, I measure my fitness. And here's what I want to say. You have to go old school and new school. I measure my fitness as in, can I lift heavier weight today? I measure my fitness. How fast does it take me to run a mile now? I measure my fitness. Can I lift this weight super heavy and then run a mile? How do I feel after that? I look in the mirror. How do I look naked? Can I see my abs? Can I not see my abs? Do I my ground love handle? So what I say is it's okay to use old school and new school, but at the same time, make sure um, that you know that you do what works for you, but don't rely just on a fitness tracker. Hey, I did 5,000 steps today or 10,000 steps today, but you can't run a mile or you can't touch your toes. What I say is use a fitness tracker, again, as like a gateway into other things. Like, for instance, no use to you know, buying these fitness trackers and you still can't touch your toes or it's still your back still hurts when you do certain movements. So I say use these fitness trackers as a gateway to other movement. I like heart rate monitors, but what I tell people, use heart rate monitors to, to let you know they're actually elevating your heart rate to a certain extent because what you want to know, what you want to know is, you know, if, I, if my heart is elevated to a nine, uh, eight or nine rate of perceived exertion, you know, will that help me out when I'm trying to run a mile? So I'm running a mile, I feel a certain way. Is there a reason why my heart rate is up to a certain level, but I'm feeling eight or nine? That means, am I dehydrated? Is my nutrition on point? So, like I said, you can use these fitness trackers as tools, but don't rely on them too much. So, I am getting one myself. Uh, we'll see how it works. It's a little bit different from the other one, so it caught my attention. So, it's like M-O-O-V. Um, I say go check it out. Um, I'll leave my review. I did get another thing called the Sculpt. Um, S-K-U-L-P. You see it on Facebook. It measures your body fat percentage. What I like about this is that I can look at my body fat percentage without having to go to a facility, drive into a facility and paying all that money to, I mean, some, some of these places are only $50. But um, I tell people when it comes to fitness, fitness is not just, oh, oh, sorry about that bad connection. Let me move to a different part of the house. You're right. It is a bad connection. Let me see if I can switch. Ugh. Okay. Let me see if it's better if I move closer to my wife's craft room. Sorry for the bad connection. So, let's see. Good, good, good. So, um, what I like about the sculpt, it tells you about, um, thank you for the hearts, it tells you about your body fat percentage. When it comes to health, it's a very complex subject. It's not about your height and weight. It's not about how much weight you can move. It's not about how fast you can run. It's not, it's about all that put together. So when I look at, when I personally, as a physician, and also as a person in a fitness, fitness profession, um, I look at all of them. I look at how fast I can move. I look at how long I can move, how heavy I can lift. Um, my mobility of my muscles. So I look at all that. I look at how I look in the mirror. What's my body fat percentage? So this is another tool that I purchased called the Sculpt or AIM. They call it on the, on the boxes of AIM. I'm sorry. I, don't, I call it the Sculpt because that's what it's been marketed on Facebook as. Um, but what I like about this um, product is that it lets me know the quality of each muscle group that I'm measuring and at the same time, it lets me know my full body fat percentage. So I know, thank you, thank you. So what I like, what I like about it is I could put this product on my bicep. It tells me how much fat is in my bicep. You measure like 12 places. Again, I'm not, I don't get any money for endorsing this product, but you measure multiple parts of your body. So therefore, if you want to know, for instance, when I apply for insurance, they say that I'm, I'm six feet, 225. Um, on a scale, 
that's that's obese. And I try to tell them, can you please tell them I'm a bodybuilder? Because most people don't understand CrossFit. Because I'm 60, 225, it makes me look like I'm obese. But I'm like, wait a minute, but I have a six pack and I can back squat 400 plus pounds and run a six minute mile. Um, that's not morbidly obese. So uh, my, only, my only point is that you need to look at your body fat percentage, look at the quality of your muscles to see how fit you are. So again, when it comes to fitness and health, it's a very complex subject. Is not just one thing. You got to look at everything. And let me add another parameter to this as being a doctor. You got to get your blood work checked. You know, to be honest, and I hate to say this, you can actually be big and strong and pretty darn lean eating fried chicken every day. Okay. You, but guess what? Your arteries will be clogged from coronary artery disease. So you'll be big and ripped, but die of a heart attack. Or you could do it if it fits your macros and look pretty good. But if you're eating artificial things, there's a possibility you may be increasing your risk of cancer. So you'd be big and ripped dying at 40 from some type of malignancy or cancer. So fitness and health, all that put together is very complex. I'm greedy. I want a little bit of everything. You know, I'm going to try to eat the highest quality food I can, I can eat while at the same time doing as many activities as possible, which is why you'll see me back squat 400 pounds, but I'm doing a size class, which is, which is our exercise program um, that's based in dancing. All right. So I'm greedy. I want a little bit of everything. You'll see me doing Zumba, but at the same time, I'm doing Olympic lifting at a CrossFit competition. All right. So let's get it going. I'm even I'm excited for this month because I'm doing a bunch of different things that you'll see. All right. So be greedy in your health and fitness. Do a little bit of everything to the best of your ability. And when it comes to fitness and health, look at everything. Look at your body fat percentage. Look at how you feel your mobility, your strength, your endurance. Be greedy. You only have one body. You might as well treat it the best that you can. Peace.